A little bit of an evening stroll and I wanted to share some of the city of Rotorua here, also known as Rota Vegas. <laughs> so kia ora, thanks for joining. I'm going to turn the camera now and we're going to, you're going to see what we're, what I'm looking at and I hope you're going to enjoy the walk. There we go. It is probably about 10 or 15 minutes until sunset and I am opposite the school and I was attracted to the school, the primary school, by the beautiful art that they have, have here on the buildings. So I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. You can see all the gorgeous artworks. Oh, really, really fantastic. So they'll all be local artists and I think it probably tells one of the legends of of the lake, I can see the waka, Merin, fantastic, I can see the waka, I can see the big fish, uh, I can see small fish, I can see big waves, um, I'm not sure which particular legend it is, but it will be telling the story, uh, Debbie, awesome, nice to see you, fabulous, they've got a lovely mural here, Cuz, awesome, yeah, gorgeous, they've got a lovely mural here as well, and of this bird is the mohio, Mohio, M-O-H-I-O. -O. So this is the local primary school. Pete, awesome. The local primary school. The sun is going down shortly. But we're not going to walk towards the sun. I'm going to take you for a walk down into uh, into the city itself. Oh, <laughs> just because Pete's turned up, we're going to get a nice sunset. <laughs> so, hi. Hello. Kia ora. <laughs> Yeah, so that's funny. One of the local boys, he probably went to the school. We should have asked him. Yeah. No, he's, no, he's doing his thing. Nice to see you all. Thank you. Linda, fantastic. We're in Rotorua. And I'm going to walk you down to the Eat Street. Of course, we're never far from food, are we? So I'm going to walk you down there. I was hoping to walk you through the school grounds, but they do. there is a sign saying, please don't. So we're not going to do that. Yunju, awesome. Rotorua. Lovely, nice buildings here in the city. Rotorua, the lake is in this direction. So they're doing a lot of work at the lake at the moment. So it's very limited access to the front of it. They're putting in a nice boardwalk. But we're going to um, cross over here. And I'm going to take you down to the Eat Street. <laughs> where the lights are just coming on. And people are beginning to think. Oh, Paula, awesome, thank you. People are just beginning to think about what they're going to eat tonight. But you do, you'll be really happy to know we're going out for Korean again. Whoops, better hurry over here. Because I'm traveling with Yongi. And yeah, so we're off for Korean tonight. She loves Korean more than me, probably. <laughs> hey, Charlie, nice to see you. Video quality's good. I've had a terrible time lately, Pete. Oh, because I've been in areas with limited um, service, limited. Wi-Fi, so it's always a bit of a problem. So, how's it going there, Charlie, in Chicago? Awesome. You always get beautiful sunsets for some reason in this area around the Lake District, Rotorua, which means second lake. Yes, Korean food. We're going to Mokja. Last night we went to, oh, we had, had a good Korean meal last night as well. But um, yeah, we're going to Mokja tonight where the lady at, when we went for our spa today, a Korean lady was there and she recommended it. I will, Yunju. Yes, I will. This is where we're staying at the region of Rotorua. It's my favourite, favourite place to stay here. So we're going to walk down past it. I showed you my room last night, so you've got that to go back on. And one gorgeous thing about this area is the gardens and the trees. Uh, okay, Pete, yeah, I'm wondering if it's a haps thing as well. Yeah, I'm wondering, yeah. So you can see what it's like. I mean, we're just going to do a small area, but the government gardens, which I've shown you before, all the gorgeous places, it's just, it's, it's just lovely here. So I don't think it's known as the Garden City, but it should be almost. <laughs> you've, oh, you've been there before? Oh, fantastic. Whoa. 
I'm going to turn around and show you the sun setting is going to set in about 10 minutes so I'm sure we're going to get a nice um, a, a nice sunset we're in Pukaki Street Pukaki Rangiuru is the one that runs along here so yeah you can practice your Maori language very easily in Rotorua there it is regent of Rotorua <laughs> the land of long white cloud yep We've always got nice clouds. Yeah, there's Tui waiting there patiently. <laughs> tomorrow we are going. So tomorrow is usually the day I do be my tourist. I haven't organised anybody or anything for tomorrow because I thought I would take you all to see the champagne pool. So it's not just going to be one person, it's going to be everybody. <laughs> nice to see you all. So we just got a little walk down here. In fact, I'll take you into the Regent and just show you the reception area and a little bit of the, um, of the dining. It's a really, really cute hotel. Boutique hotel, restaurant and wine bar. Let's just pop in for a minute. Push, push. <laughs> this is the hotel. So the reception area here. Hey! And looking around here, this is the the dining room. Sorry, boys. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Got the nice chandeliers up. Look at these. Yeah, we Whoa. It's our age. <laughs> <laughs> Some chaps here working away. They like being called boys. So this is the um, this is the restaurant area. So it's really really lovely. Got rhinoceros rhinoceroses, rhinoceri, whatever you call them on the wall <laughs> it's fantastic isn't it yeah this is the favorite table so this is the favorite table right here because you've got this low window right beside it and at this end you can see they've got some nice crowns lots of sparkles <laughs> lots of sparkles <laughs> lots of black and white these are real sparkles look Diamonds are forever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we'll just walk down. There's the pool is out. Oh, signal's poor. Better get going. Whoa. Mary, fantastic. Sorry, we've got to get going. Got to get, get going. Got to get the signal back. All the bottles of wine. We. Nice to see you, Mary. Fabulous. Lunch menu, breakfast menu, lunch menu, breakfast menu, and dinner menu. Nice little chandelier here. I'm going outside. We have got, got a poor signal. Let's get going. I am good. Thank you, Mary. Oh, pull. Pull. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Whoa. There we are. Okay, let's walk down. We're just going to walk to the Eat Street. I'm going to walk along the Eat Street and show you all the restaurants. Um, this is not where the Korean restaurant is that we're going for dinner. This is the little annex for the hotel. These rooms are here are called these rooms are called the cuties. And but we're staying in the wing just there at the back. Oh, this is interesting too. <laughs> Always get sidetracked. This is really interesting. Look at the gorgeous space here with the the guard, these big, big pots. And I love the way, so this is my room. <laughs> my room's just up here. Awesome! It's me, me, I'm up here. Wow. And look at the, look at this. All the stones have been set out in squares. A little bit like a chessboard or drafts. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm heading for the Eat Street because my signal is tending to be a little bit dodgy. It is like a chessboard, isn't it? Yeah spotted this this morning and thought it was just fantastic yeah <laughs> um so let's head for the eat street because they're going to have it's going to be much better down there we'll check the sunset before we go fabulous to see everybody thank you it's uh tuesday in new zealand tuesday there's a big new hotel that's opened there, that's a Pullman, so that's just opened. Ah, oh, hi Kathy, 
and you've just had a birthday, Vinny just had a birthday. So yeah, I did send you a birthday message. There we go, sun setting through here. Nice one. Woo! Nice. So the streets are really interesting in, in Rotorua because it's all set out in a grid and squares, but they have a cent you can see they have a central a central bit down it with parking. So parking on three sides really. Which is really, really interesting, which shows that everybody drives their cars in <laughs> around this area. <laughs> so we're just going to walk down here. You can see the big, this is the Eat Street. So this is the, the beginning of the Eat Street. And I'll just keep walking in the middle of the road. We've got Italian over here, Mama Rosa. <laughs> Pizzeria. But aren't the gardens gorgeous? Look. Angle parking, uh, ample parking and angle parking. <laughs> oh. Well, we have a bubble with Australia, so Australians, can, we can come and go to Australia with no quarantine. The rest of the world um, cannot travel here yet. So they cannot travel at all. Um, so hopefully it's all going to be fixed up for next year. Looks like 22, 2022 is going to be the one. There we go. Hi Marcia, awesome. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're waiting for the word. We're wa oh, I've got a poor signal again. I think this is a haps problem. I don't think it's us. Pete, I reckon. Now it's gone to good. So looking along here, this is, I'm pretty sure this is to Tanakai Street. This is, used to be, and you can see there's lots of bright lights, so there's lots of fabulous eating and walking areas along. There's lots of bright lights down there as well, which is pretty cool. And this street is lined with food places. So, there's an awful lot of food in Rotorua <laughs> because we all need to be eating and of course it is like the tourist mecca of New Zealand there's the sunset there yeah okay Mary yes oh see the signal it keeps going from fair to great and I'm right in the middle of the city so it should be good so I'm thinking this is a is a haps problem there is the sunset going down there and it's yeah about three minutes to sunset we might catch it at the other end but this is the eat street so let's go for a wander oh we won't be happy with this will we <laughs> why cootie cootie no dogs allowed whoa so we're going to walk down the eat street and i'm going to just see it's gorgeous it's all lit up and restaurants on both sides. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's good. That's perfect, cuz. That's really good. I've noticed on YouTube it seems to be good. Yeah. I should be um, broadcasting just directly to YouTube then. Good to know. So this side we have Urban Gusto, which is Italian-inspired cucina. <laughs> So they've got a nice fire going. Nice, they're sitting right beside the fire, lucky people. Um, urban, urban gusto. Cool, and this is, they've got a few dinner specials up. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's good, Mary, yeah. So that proves our point that it is haps. But look at the gorgeous roof and the way it is, and the, the changes colour too. So I've seen it be all colours of the rainbow. Over this side we've got a beer garden. Limited edition apple pie and ice cream cider. Passion fruit cider. <laughs> Rib special. Good George, they've got craft beers as well. 
but it's pretty. So let's walk it to the other end and then we're going to check the sunset again. We've got Indian here, Indian star, and nice gardens again everywhere. The, the lake is just right at, um, well, when you get to the end of the Eat Street, if you keep walking, the lake is there. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at that view. So this is called Our House. I haven't eaten here, but I've heard that this is really good. Our House where Kiwis eat. <laughs> Open every day. Looks good. Oh, so interesting. <laughs> Coming up this week, see this saying here, e hari e Actually, it should be e fai e Okay. <laughs> this is quite a very, very popular saying <laughs> at the moment. E fai e Some people are saying e hari e but it should, yeah. Okay, it's not for me to say that, but um, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> no my, we're proudly a Maori owned business that believes the way you treat your team is the way they treat your customers. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting, cuz, yeah, yeah. So that's good. Good old, good old YouTube, eh? We've got Max in here, this is a pub. So we'll just keep walking. What have we got? Oh, we've got something called Ponsonby Road. So a little touch of Auckland has come down here. So, which is really cool. It's sort of like a bistro come pub. They've got all their food out, but you can see all the bright lights everywhere. As it gets darker, this place gets really, really colorful. Uh, Max Steakhouse on the right. More gardens. Atticus Finch. So bar. Just beginning to get busy. It's 5.30. It's really too early for dinner. Oh, you can see the colours change to blue. I told you it was all colours of the rainbow. I didn't notice that. <laughs> it smells really great down here because look, Everybody's got fires going and there's lots of grilling going on. Another Italian food and wine, Leonardo's. Yeah. Everybody's got grills going at the moment. I'm smelling lots of seafood coming out. Um, they have like hot stone. Oh, I've changed to red again now. They have hot stone um, grills as well. Fabulous. So this afternoon I have been for the most wonderful massage. I want it to change colour. Been for the most wonderful massage and then a hot soak. Um, and it was just amazing. And the woman that was giving me a massage, Michelle, she said to me, your body's in really good condition. <laughs> and I said to her, it's all the walking I do. <laughs> so there you go. It's all that scoping. <laughs> I think it is, yeah, I think it is. Let's turn around and wait. Oh, it's changed red. I'm just not catching it as it's changing. But a really, really, this is a, yeah, this is sort of like, I would say, where everybody needs to come. <laughs> You're walking and climbing, yes. Or is it blue at one end and red at the other? Maybe that's what it is. Is that why I'm thinking it's changing colour all the time? Just gonna, we're just going to have a look up here and see what... Oh, big logs of wood. Let's see if we had a sunset or whether it's a little bit too cloudy. Just coming over here, there's a lovely park here and all these gorgeous gardens. And they've got a circus. Lady Jane's ice creams.
and looking down the Eat Street. I think it might be purply blue at one end and red at the other, that's what's happening. Yes, it's nice, Jessie, isn't it? Yeah. Need a massage? Oh, Mary, have you? I hope you're better now. I hope you're okay. Um, the sunset. Lucky I didn't say I was scoping a sunset because there it is. <laughs> so if I kept walking straight ahead down here, I would come to the lake. And well, let's go in and have a look at the circus. So there's a small park here. So where I had my massage was on the other side of the circus. <laughs> ah, someone is this. Yes, it's all sorts of stuff. It's school holidays in New Zealand. Here we go, Rotorua. So of course there's lots and lots of Maori culture here. Uh, okay, okay, well I hope everything goes well Mary, I hope it does. This is the map of the area, so this is really handy. We're purple. Purple. Purple, yes, yeah. So I hope everything goes well. So we are here. Okay. And we've just, we've been walking here. So now we're on this corner. So yeah, so our hotel's up here. Uh, and here's the lakefront right here. Ah, ah, Whakaui's wife was, made, was named Rangiuru. Some say that while he was away, she had an affair with a visiting chief. Rangiuru fell pregnant and gave birth to a son named Tutanakai. Ah, okay, so Tutanakai lived on Mokoya Island, which is through here. And if you come to Rotorua, you will hear the story of um, Tutanakai and Hinimoa. Hinimoa fell in love with Tutanakai and she swam across the lake to, to be with him. That is really interesting. We didn't know that before. We didn't know the Whakapapa. We didn't know the, um, the lineage, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a little bit of a... Um, yeah, a little bit of a circus thing going on here. Kids are playing on there. No animals, of course. It's just called the Bumper Circus. Yeah, it's a good story. And if you... Pokari Kariana is like the, the unofficial national anthem of New Zealand. Pokari Kariana tells the story of Tutanakai and Hinimoa. But now I know where Tutanakai came from, so that's a good story. <laughs> So let's just go back to the Eat Street because, um, oh, they've got more stuff here as well. This city has really, really developed over the last 10 years. And it's really amazing. And I love coming here. And my friend and I have been talking about where, if we didn't live in Auckland, where we would want to live. Yeah. And, you know, for me, I need to be close to uh, my culture. I need to be close to people. I'm not interested in, in being in a posh apartment building or whatever. I'm more about being part of a community. So, But I need to be close to a beach. <laughs> and Rotorua is the lake, so I don't think this is a place for me either. <laughs> but I love coming here to visit because I love the people and I love the food and I love everything about it. So all oh, this car's going round and round the roundabout. <laughs> as we get into the middle and see another gorgeous garden here, a rock garden with some lovely mosses. Wow. Yeah. Rotorua. It's a large city. It's the, it is the home of Maori culture. All the activities and businesses are, are run here by local families. And that is what I like about it. There's no international companies here um, taking money overseas. It all stays here in the area. Yeah. I'm about three hours from Auckland, Marcia, driving back tomorrow afternoon. So this is the Eat Street. 
so I think it looks pretty cool <laughs> really interesting yeah and it's great to come down and have a couple of days here and you know catch up with everybody and just enjoy enjoy everything so I'm going to say hello and goodbye oh there I am <laughs> Oh yes, massage, it was fantastic and I've managed to pull myself together afterwards, so yeah, so but it was really, really great and I just loved it. So thanks everybody, thanks for joining me for the walk and um, let's turn around to the Eat Street, there it is, and I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks a lot and kia ora and ka kete, and I'll just move down here a little bit further. Yeah, that's the thing too Mary, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just get past these. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Thanks, everybody. I look well. <laughs> yeah, my hair, like the massage, it's got oil in it now and it's got everything's happening with it. So, um, yeah, need to wash it tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Yep, lots of love from New Zealand. Nice to see you all. And take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll do Be My Tourist from the Champagne Pool. <laughs> okay, thank you.